Hey everyone, welcome back to Playground Sessions YouTube channel. I'm Phil. Today I'm going to be showing you a tune by the Allman Brothers Band called Midnight Rider. We're going to be looking at the rookie level verse from the Playground Sessions song store and that section we'll be learning today sounds like this. That's all there is to it for this section, but obviously there's a lot more to this song than we're going to be covering in this video. So when you're done with this video, you got to get the Playground app to finish this song and do much, much, much more. For a limited time, we're offering a 30-day free trial for all of our YouTube fans. So all you got to do is click the link in this video description or tap that card above. You can start playing in the app for free today. But for today, in this video, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the right hand melody for this verse. Let's go. First, let's take a look at the key signature and the time signature. The key signature says two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. That tells us we're in the key of D major. The time signature is 4-2. Now usually this would be in 4-4, four, four, but because this is the rookie level arrangement, we want to stretch out these rhythms a little longer so they're a little easier to digest. Making the time signature 4-2 allows us to do that because it's kind of like stretching everything out twice as long. But all you need to worry about for this video is when the scroll bar hits your note, you got to play that note. Don't worry so much about the time signature. Once we get into it and we start feeling out these rhythms, it'll feel pretty natural to you. So speaking of notes, let's start with the first one, F sharp. And it looks like an F, but don't forget our key signature, F sharp. We're gonna play that with our third finger. Then we have a couple of E's with our two finger. And then a D with our thumb. That's the position we'll be in for quite some time in this section. So keep moving, we've got after these rests, two more D's and then an F sharp again couple more E's, now look down to the second line, F sharp, D, rest, still in the same position, D, D, now we reach up just outside of a five note position with our pinky, we're going up to a B, then four on A, then back to three on F sharp, E, D, and we're going to end this section with two D's. Those are pickup notes to the next section, but I'm not going to let them catch me, no. But we're not going to get into that section in this video. Remember, check out the Playground app if you want to learn this song with all the parts. So I know I went through that kind of quickly, but those are just the hand positions and the fingerings. What I want to do now is cue up the backing track at the slow tempo. So we're going to bring in the band, but we're still going to be playing at a learning tempo. And this is so that we can start to look at these rhythms more accurately, but still have enough time between each note to think about what's coming next. That's the beauty of playing along at the slow tempo. So, pause here, rewind, and play back with me if you need to go over the hand positions one more time. But if you're feeling good about that, then let's keep it moving with the slow tempo now. One, two, set, go. slow tempo. Now let's try it at full. One, two, set, go. Great work so far, you guys. We're a third of the way there. We've got the right hand down. Now it's time to start talking about the left hand. And the great news is, the left hand part is really, really easy on its own. We just have one single note, and we hold each one of those notes for a long time. So, let's go ahead and go over these real quick, but then I want to jump right into full tempo at the left hand. You guys ready? As you can see in the notation on screen, we start with a D, and we tie it from one whole note to another. That's two full measures. And we just keep playing it over and over again. And there's six of them in this section, okay? 
So that's it. All you got to do is follow along when that scroll bar hits the note, you play it. And that's it. So again, like I said, let's go ahead and cue up the full tempo backing track and let's play along. One, two, set, go. Alright guys, great job. We got left hand down now and we already did the right hand. All that's left is to put the hands together. So let's talk about that now. Just like any other song when you're trying to put the hands together for a new section, it's important that one, you've done each hand's part on its own enough times to feel comfortable when playing it hands separately. And two, that we do slow, repetitive practice with the hands together before we try to put it together at full tempo. So, what I want to do first is walk through the first couple measures with you. I'm going to look at every single beat and we're going to figure out are the hands playing together or are they playing separately. Then I'm going to ask you to do that on your own for the rest of the section. And then once you've done that, we'll play it hands together at the medium tempo and then of course finally full tempo. But before we jump into hands together, let me quickly remind you that when you're done with this section in this video, you got to learn the rest and you can do so for free for a limited time because we're offering a 30-day free trial of the app. So click the link in the video description, tap the card above, and you can learn more and start playing in the app for free today. So let's go ahead and wrap up this video. We're gonna do hands together, first an every beat walkthrough, then slow tempo, then full tempo. Let's do it. All right, let's get into position. Right hand on F sharp with our third finger, left hand on D with our thumb. Now, the first beat of the first measure, we can see the hands play together. And since they're both whole notes, they tie over into the next, and then beat two of the next, the right hand goes on on its own, while the left hand holds. Now, next measure, the hands play together again at the same time. Rest in the right hand, left hand holds. Next measure, right hand on its own. Next measure, they play together again. So you see what I'm doing. I'm walking through each beat. I'm not worried about getting to the next one in time. I'm not worrying about setting a metronome to play evenly just yet. First, I'm just looking at every single beat. What are the hands doing on that beat? So please pause the video, go through the rest of the section and do that same thing. When you're done and you've done it a handful of times, meet me back here. I'll cue up the slow backing track. Let's try that now. One, two, set, go. Great work you guys, final step is full tempo, so when you're ready, let's do it. Awesome job you guys, that's the full verse to the rookie level of Midnight Rider by the Allman Brothers Band. I'm Phil, and I love teaching you guys videos, so I can't wait to see you for the next tutorial. Give yourselves a round of applause. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. All right, guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.